Today I'm down here at New Gartland Field to talk to men's club rugby head coach James Kimberly about his effect on the team. A couple years ago, not having anyone, not having uh, any sort of game plan, uh, then having a coach that is uh, bringing in film and scouting, talking to other coaches in our league. Uh, it's, a, uh, it's a huge improvement to the fact that we can watch how we play, watch us uh, during the week, uh, to take a break from studying over classes and just to really improve on just our skills as well as knowing uh, what we're going into next week with whatever team, whether it be RPI, William Patterson, Seton Hall, or basically anyone that we play. It's, uh, it's honestly a, a vast improvement from what we've had. And does it motivate you guys at all to know that like he has as much of a passion for the game as you guys do? Oh, absolutely. We feed off of his passion, and uh, he feeds off of ours. So even in practice, you can hear him screaming, and even during the games in quiet, he's he's the he's the real screamer of the team. So uh, his energy feeds off us. We feed off of him, and uh, it it truly really, it shows because if he's in it, we're in it, and that's that's all that matters. If if we're not in it, there's no point in even showing up. I mean, two years ago, we didn't even have a coach, and we were just kind of like a self-run club team. And since he's been here since last year, our club has greatly improved to a nationally ranked team. Um, he keeps us together, he keeps us confident, and we really wouldn't be a team without him. Last year, for about half the year, uh, I was working at home in Danbury, Connecticut, um, and a job came up, a possibility in Poughkeepsie. So one of the reasons I took that job was so I could be so close to the team. Throughout his two-year stint as head coach, he has been able to bring the team's ranking up substantially. Previous to me coming here, the team was 2-8 and eight over a two-year period. Um, and as of the first week of the season this year, we were ranked number 31 in the country, which was the highest I think Marist has ever been ranked. Um, we are about to go to our second playoff in a row, so uh, the results are there. Uh, I'm just hoping that I can help motivate the kids to try and put in their best effort to a game that I've loved for a long time. The Marist men's rugby team is looking to follow the leadership of Coach James Kimberly into the playoffs this year. For Centerfield, I'm Connor Kerpat.